What's in the box? This is the second part. We're gonna find out what's in the box. Aren't you excited? Did this happen before the first one? I don't know. Maybe this happened after the first one, but weeks later. Ow, this nail is too long. I just almost fucked it up. You know when you almost bend the nail backwards? Yeah, I just did that. I wish that pain on no one. What do we got? Two things. It's a nice size box, but I don't think I could reuse it for anything. God bless Amazon sending me all their great stuff. Oh, shit. All right, we'll get to that. Let's open this. I have one of these. I own it. It was in my shopping cart. It said buy it again. I'm like, yeah, buy it again. You know why? Because I can't fucking find it. My computer, my pewter, my pewter's there now, and I installed a USB-C card, PCI card into it, which wasn't easy. It's like nine screws to take out. And I had one of these, one of these. I unboxed it, I'm sure, a while ago. All it is is a card reader, a USB-C card reader. Micro and regular SD. That's all I need. I don't know how. I don't need fucking compact flash. I don't need Sony. Just these two on a fast as fuck USB-C. That's loud. Done. And this one's by Uni. And I can't look at my computer because there's not safe for work wallpaper on. And it even comes with a carry bag. Now I have it. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to walk away and it's fucking gone. As soon as I come back in that room, it's gone. I can tell. Now this, I have a thing for soft stuff. And I was, I don't know how I got to this on Amazon. It was just, it just popped up. I was like a related item to maybe a P-Link. And I'm like, oh, that's a nice looking, interesting looking. The QB's world's first geometric sculpture pillow. I gotta know. Zeo's gotta know. Should I make a separate Patreon for the unboxing channel? Like, I'm serious. Because I'm unboxing things. Yeah, I bought this for me. A lot of the stuff's audio equipment for the other channel. But if I got funding to do unboxings, you guys could literally become a $3 patron. It'll be some weird number, by the way. It'll be much less than zero. Like, a $3 patron would let me vote for things of what I should just buy to unbox. And then I can include those in a separate, like, auction. That'd be amazing. Imagine living off unboxings like unboxing therapy. Unbox therapy. We have got a pillowcase. We've got some hard, some, what's it called here? I don't need to keep it. I could donate it to like charities. Or cheese. He's a charity. He lives in South Dakota. It's just, the boy needs things. Unbox lifestyle F1, F2. Why is it called the F1, F2? Oh, no spoilers. I don't want you to get spoiled on what it's going to look like. F1, F2, contact us. For some reason, there's an alien with a dick on his head and X's for eyes. There's a dead alien. There's belly buttons and X. I'm gonna open this pillowcase first because this feels... Wow, that... You know what? That just feels like a nice t-shirt. Like it's a stretchy... It's a stretchy fabric. That, that would be a nice t-shirt. I demand a t-shirt in this. <laughs> Hard. Okay. That's. I guess I have to wash this. That's nice. That, that's a nice thing. I'm gonna put that away. I'm not gonna leave a review. Um, I might need the instructions. God only knows. Um, sleep well. Oh my God! There's like a story on this. In 2010, the Design League. Consisting of the fashion clothes designer, graphic designer, gamer, photographer, what? The was born in Shenzhen. What is this? Are you kidding me? I got the pillow out of this so I can lay this flat. And then we could read it together. It's got another pillowcase on it. And more paperwork fell out. This might take the entire unboxing. Okay, do not put books on it. What is that? According to D WHO, World Health Organization, recommendation, pillow is a consumable and s substitution is recommended once every 12 months to maintain good sleep. They want you to throw away your pillows every fucking 12 months. I got a $100 fucking down pillow in my... No! No! 
No, they want you to throw away your pillow. This product adopts compression packaging. Please put in ventilated air open for eight hours before using. Um, you have a zipper pillowcase, L-shaped design. Make sure you unzip all the way before pulling out the inner. The pillow inner is made of non-washable material while the pillowcase, pillow is pillow inner is made of non-washable material. So don't wash the pillow itself. That's the World Health Organization logo yelling from a bad pillow that's been exchanged for a new pillow. That's so fucking weird. Uh, don't stress it for a long time. Being used as a cushion will damage supporting structure and lose functionality. So don't fucking use it. Don't use the pillow too much is what they're saying. Use it as a pillow, but don't use it too much. Uh, made of moda material, skin friendly texture, good hand feel can can be washed. I'll talk about the pillowcase. Uh, yeah, okay. So we've got... Wow, they really need to just fire whatever machine is putting these labels on. I actually bought this for pasta, because she's always complaining that there's a very... She's described to me her perfect pillow, and I've tried... Whoop. Heightened? Okay, whatever. And I've tried to find that for her and build her like a, a, a perfect thing. It's not worked out. So now we're going to use this. We're going to see if this works. It's a very flat pillow. She likes flat pillows. She likes thin pillows. Not to give away too much about pasta sleep habits, but she's she doesn't just sleep. She needs What the fuck? I want to see the goddamn pillow. Show me the pillow. Is this it? You don't actually... I can't actually see that cool fucking pillow with the... Look at the box shapes. It's like the cube. The movie Cube. All right, I have to look at the pictures now. God damn it. This is the shit they showed me online. I was expecting to get that. It's a two-sided pillow with just cut foam. Look, the top's cubes and the bottom slots. So that's cubes, which means this. This is also cubes. It is weird feeling. It feels fucking weird. I want to get into this. I want I want inside. Give, give me the pillow. This was the... I, You can see it does weird geometric shapes when I put my hand in it. This feels like a virtual pillow, like in VR. If you've got to touch a pillow and it just doesn't have the pixels. You, you, you think it's going to look like your hand. No, nah, it just squares around your hand. All right, we'll give this eight hours to like come back to life because it's definitely not as thick as it should be. And I guess I'll wash the fucking covers. Fucking... Can't even see my pillow, and it's got a height extender for no fucking reason. Can't even fucking. I hope you all can read this. Just full of enthusiasm. Fashion elites seeking for the individuality feel of the new world. This, this, I might have to frame this. Maybe I'll put this in the art sale, because that's some deep, deep thought right there. I got one more box. It's a big one, though, and it's heavy as fuck. No, because I carried it. I don't know what's in here. I don't know what's in here. But we going to find out. We're going to find out from the bottom, too. We're already almost at the 10 minute mark. I'm sorry that pillow took up so much of my time, but it was important. It was impotent. We're just gonna do this. If there's nine things in here, oh, oh, there's one thing in here. That's what this is. Okay, that explains the weight. I thought there was more than one thing. You could probably actually, actually no, this is way before I was doing unboxings. This is before I lived in Pennsylvania. Ah. Fluence SX6s. I have one of these. Painted white, custom painted white. Before they offered them in white, I um, bought two pairs and I installed them at the Italian American Museum in Manhattan as a 3.0 setup for giving presentations so you had one good solid vocal speaker into and I did that because these speakers were great were great were great 
when I started my channel. It was Mike MB 42Xs, and if you, Mike MB 42s and the 42X, and then if you had more money and desk space, I recommended the Pelons. These speakers, they're giant toaster ovens, five and a quarter, big soft dome, and this will be the very first time I go back and re-review something on purpose. I've never done it before. And I, I guess it makes sense to start with something that I reviewed at the beginning of my channel. Like, not something I reviewed last year. Does this, still, does this still make sense? Ship 9500s, do they still make sense? I'll probably do that video also, but we're starting. Oh, I fucking hate Fluance, you Canadian bastards. They're Canadian pasta, I, I'm, but they give me the hate foam. The hate foam, so I got them in white because like I said, I painted the last one in white. They didn't offer them white when I bought them. Back in my day. Oh, don't fall out of the bag. Don't fall out of the bag. It's gonna fall out of the bag. Back in my day, I had to paint these white. Um, I only need one. It's been so long since I've heard a standalone set of Fluence SX6s that I honestly, I only remember the feeling a lot of the times people question how do I remember how much hundred I looked the the number of tags on my patreon that say the word headphone is like a hundred and sixty seven I posted a hundred and sixty seven headphone reviews Zios how do you remember what every headphone sounded like I don't I remember how every headphone made me feel though and I can go on that so I remember how these speakers made me feel more than I remember how they sound I can give you basics. I can say, oh, they're good low end and they're soft. That's it. We're going to find out if the Fluence SX6 and that big soft dome can still compete in 2019. Canadian flag, you fuckers. 60 hertz to 20,000, 92 decibel sensitivity, 8 ohm. With this stupid, stupid bottom. Look, it's got a bottom. It's got a little rubberized stand to keep isolation down. I doubt it does anything. And I got them in white. Does it come with feet? I just want to know that and then I'll stop this. I mean, I reviewed every other new Fluence that's come out, basically. But it's time to go back. They still sell these. I figured they would have stopped at this point, but they're just too good. And look at the size of this. Look, look there's like two and a half inches to either side of the speaker. Because it's just giant. No fucks given design. Wow, that spins a lot better than it should. I blame the bottom of the speaker being bulged out and not the cutting board. The cutting board never does that. Chewbacca, what do you think? Anyway, that's enough for today's unboxing. This one's longer. But yeah, no. Pair of speakers that I've already reviewed. Gonna get re-reviewed. And then that fucking pillow. You, you better... Here. I'm gonna put this in one of the things. Chewbacca, you want this? No, she better not. I will probably put the cat on this and see if she likes it. Wasn't, it wasn't a super cheap pillow, so I mean, fucking better work. I read that story, all right? The New World. I want to know about the feel of the New World. It better be that pillow.